Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Dawn of Man. Picking up here pretty much right where we last left off. End of the last episode, I actually did mention that traders would be coming by at some point here. And our first trader has arrived. It's him right here. Let's hop out of this camera and we'll see what they have to offer here. So we got uh, Merrick. He's got a low commission, so this uh, would actually be a good person to buy stuff from. Uh, he is selling some tannin, he's selling some logs, some straw. Uh, straw will be useful uh, once we start uh, domesticating animals, we'll have to feed animals something. He's got some leather, which we might buy here. Value of five, so it's a little bit expensive. Got some fish, which I think we're doing fine for. And he's got some pulses as well, type of uh, uh, cereal, I believe. A type of grain. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up a few... Maybe just a couple leather, uh, because I do, uh, or we will need this. Actually, no, we don't want leather. We want dry skins right now at this stage. I don't think we actually need that. Um, what could we buy? We could buy some logs. I don't know if we actually need any of this right at this moment. Um, straw, we could always use, though, uh, down the road. So we'll, we'll pick up some of that, and... What we'll do is we will sell one of our spears that we've made. And let's sell a couple of these. Or maybe one of these bit fisses. And we'll buy... Maybe we'll buy a couple logs. Just to even out the trade value here. So there we go. Six straw, two logs. Uh, trading that for one spear and one bit fist. There we go. Our first trading deal. So they dropped all our resources there. We'll slowly get that stuff hauled over into our storage tent. Uh, today we're going to be focusing on getting some more knowledge so we can advance to our next uh, tech here. And I've just been thinking of what we should do. I'm thinking maybe the sling making. We'll go sling making and then bone tools. Yeah start getting more and more food more more animals hunted so let's speed up time while our people go around looking for stuff to do there's not really a lot of animals on this side of the river there are a couple larger animals over here including this woolly rhino we could try taking that down maybe once we get um, there's a donkey we go hunt we we'll try taking down the um, the woolly rhino once we get the bone uh, bone spears and that kind of stuff. Just not sure wood spears will be enough to take down a woolly rhino even with five people hunting it. Well, this donkey is doing a very good job of evading our hunter here, Nogar. One thing we didn't really go over in the first episode. There we go. We got him. All right, go uh, actually skin that. Another uh, knowledge point there for our first donkey. Take a look at our clothing help option here. Uh, so clothing obviously offers better protection from cold, increases welfare, and reduces damage sustained in combat. We will need the skins and wool from different animals. Uh, we can make leather and linen outfits eventually. And let's see, we make that stuff at the crafter or outfitter. Okay, good to know. But yeah, one thing we didn't really go over last time, every individual has uh, several different meters here, including health, nutrition, hydration, temperature, stamina, rest, and morale. So they'll automatically try and keep this stuff satisfied as best they can. You can see... Uh, Nogar here is quite tired, so he's probably going to be dropping this off and then heading into one of the uh, um, huts to rest. Uh, we've collected uh, 10 raw skins, got another knowledge point there. We actually have enough right now to get our next uh, tech. Let's head back into town here. Got 10 bone, another knowledge point there, so we are rapidly... Racking up the knowledge, let's go ahead and get our sling making, which will be required for archery and uh, making slings. Archery will be part of the next age, 
the Mesolithic. So let's get our sling making. We can go over to our crafting and add slings to our queue. So this will just take a skin to make a couple. And we're still only uh, with seven people living here. We do have a capacity for 12, so I'm hoping we'll be attracting some more people soon. Speed up time, get our people bringing stuff back. We don't have a lot of food right now. We have six cured meat, five raw meat. Wonder if the raw meat are in the huts. We've got two raw meat in there. Um, the rest of the raw meat might be out in the field. They might still count that. Looks like we're heading into winter now. So with the different seasons, I think, like, aside from the temperature changes, the other big thing is some things will be uh, more readily available in different seasons. Like, we'll be able to harvest different crops uh, in the summer or fall. Uh, we'll be able to plant crops eventually in the spring or winter. Now, we did just get uh, two new humans joining the settlement, so now we're up to nine. And we got another knowledge point for drying ten animal skins. So, a little bit more labor around here. We could take a look through some of the other buildings we can make, going into spiritual. The only thing we can make right now are skull poles, a structure in memory of the dead. Uh, wouldn't hurt to make, him, uh, make one of these. We can maybe put it up on this hill. Having these spiritual things will kind of increase the desirability of our little village. And we just powered right through winter there. Uh, with a fast forward, we got another knowledge point for making it through a winter. And another knowledge point for finishing that skull pool. Alright, I think uh, we'll keep it at this speed. We're kind of flying through on the super fast. So let's go back into our knowledge, and I think we said we were going to do our bone tools next. So let's throw it into there, just a refresher. The remaining techs in this age will be dog domestication, spirituality, tanning, and then we'll also be able to do composite tools once we research this bone tools. So composite tools would be a combination of bone and flint. So let's go ahead and throw ours into bone there. We've got another knowledge point for catching 10 fish. Unlock bone tools. Let's go over to our crafter, which is right here. And we could probably stop production on the wooden spears and the wooden harpoon. And start production on our bone spears and bone harpoon. Right now we have... Um, how many bones do we have? Uh, nine bones so each of these let's see this takes a stick and a bone to make a spear and one bone to make a harpoon harpoon obviously for fishing spear for hunting and speaking of hunters we do have some people apparently out on the hunt right now let's join in and see oh no they are going back where are these other people going? Let's follow one of these guys. They're probably just uh, grabbing um, some material from a carcass over here. Can't really see through. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there's some meat. So they hunted something. Didn't quite catch what that was. Yeah, we're slowly growing out. Started with two huts. And uh, the crafter. And this wood pile slowly building out our community the food dryer pretty full so we're doing pretty good for food right now let's see do we have any bone spears yet no everything is just wood but um i guess once they're kind of done their tasks someone will come over here and start crafting some bone tools Let's see. Uh, taking food into the storage hut here. Storage tent. 
No, I don't know. Let's set this to high priority. Oh, you know probably why they're not? Because we already have nine spears and nine bitfisses. Our requirement that we set here in our limits was to only produce 100% uh, spirit population. So let's boost that up to 125, or maybe even 150. And we'll boost up our knife production as well to 150. There, so we'll actually start crafting some bone implements now. There we go. Let's take a look at our crafter. Our two crafters. There we go, and another trader has arrived. Let's see what this person has to offer. Sometimes they will be selling tech, like this guy. You can see Vorin has a high commission, so the value of this is 100, but once we actually go to try and buy it, the actual trade value is 150, so he's going to be taking uh, 50. Uh, it's pretty much a 50% markup there. Uh, I am tempted to get this though, just so we can kind of progress through the age a little bit quicker. So let's sell off some of our our wood spears. Actually, let's sell most of them and our harpoon. Um, actually, we could probably sell them all. We have enough bones here to um, to replace them all. And let's sell. Actually, we might not have enough here to sell. Sell these. I don't really want to sell my slings. Can we? I don't think we even get close to 150. 76. Yeah, not really. I don't want to sell my skins. All right. Well, if we had more resources, we could probably get this, but uh, it's a bit too, bit too much right now. If it was uh, a little bit lower commission, we might be able to get there if we sold everything. But even right now, selling all this stuff, we're only getting 76, so... Let's cancel that. Uh, better luck next time. We'll get our knowledge points here soon enough and... Uh, get our last four tech for this age. Okay. So I think we can turn down the priority on our crafter there. Got another knowledge point here for hunting five Ibex. Uh, not much else to do right now, aside from just kind of powering through the seasons. If we look at the service tree, we can only collect fruit in the summer. We're at the very end of spring. So if we can find a few more fruit trees around here. We've got a pear tree here. Chestnut. Let's wait until summer pops in here, and then we can maybe send people out to go collect some fruits from some of these trees around us. We do have a couple. We got this pear tree. We got uh, that chestnut tree up there. Chestnut nuts would probably last a long time. Um, yeah, those three. What's over here? Another pear tree. Another cher a cherry tree. Service. Not exactly sure what a service tree is. It must be some sort of nut. All right, let's uh, fast forward here, try and get through to summer. A little bit cooler out there, only 15 degrees. Another knowledge point for making 10 bitfisses. All right, now we're into summer. Okay, so let's collect some of these fruits. Let's pause it for a second. And maybe we can just use this harvest wild plants. Yeah, so let's set one there. And actually we already have one set over here for that tree. Let's set another one over here. Uh, for this area. Okay, cool. So hopefully people will, yeah, there we go. Uh, collecting fruit, yeah. So it's kind of cool that the um, 
the children can actually work as well. I'm not sure if they can do all the tasks, but obviously collecting from this fruit tree is an easy enough task for her. Uh, we have our first storm right now. And that can be dangerous. Our villagers can be struck by lightning and die. Villagers will die of natural age, or of old age naturally. Uh, we can also die from being attacked by animals. There are raiders that will come eventually once our village grows a little bit more. You can see on the side of these mountains there are these little deposits. So we have a flint deposit here. We got copper ore over there. Uh, we won't actually be able to mine copper ore until a later age. Uh, we have rock or stone deposits on the ground here. So there's still quite a few resources out there that we haven't even gotten around to checking out. Uh, we now have four bone spears, uh, nine wood spears. We could potentially try and take on a larger animal. Uh, maybe a young woolly rhino. Probably able to get a good amount of uh, food from a woolly rhino. I'm not sure if we want to take on an adult female. But uh, I'm thinking a young male we could possibly take on. Let's let's see. Let's take that's a, these two people have slings. I'm not sure if this. I'm, sh I'm I bet they probably would attack us. We should probably have some people with spears. This guy's got a bone spear. This old man. And you've got a spear. Let's take. Let's take you, and you, come over here, you two come over here, and let's try and hunt this young woolly rhino. Hopefully the, uh, the adults won't attack us. Um, actually, I want everyone to just gather up here first. So we can attack at the same time. Uh, eventually we will be able to make bridges too. We just don't have that tech yet. Okay, so where is this guy? Let's go hunt him. And let's follow along. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so he is running away. Oh, and we are... Being chased here, I believe. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, let's jump out of here. Uh, she is getting thrown through the air right now. <laughs> she got tossed by that woolly rhino. All right. Well, good to know. Uh, let's hop out of here. Uh, let's grab all these, and we're gonna see if we can take on a uh, woolly rhino without dying. He's got quite a bit of health. We could lose someone here. I would not be surprised. Oh, we took one down. Alright, so we got the warning of the Woolly Rhino attack. Uh, we took down our first Woolly Rhino. Two knowledge for that. And we unlocked a milestone, hunting and gathering. Here we go. A little screenshot of our growing village, our first milestone. Took down our first big animal. Let's head back over here. Um, do they? Oh, they actually got this uh, younger one as well. So you can see this woolly rhino. Look at that: eleven raw meat, seven skin, three bones. Uh, this one over here, the younger one, four skin, six. So even the the young ones still have quite a bit of resources on them. So we'll let them bring those materials back. I'm not sure if I can actually see. Any of our people. I just want to see how badly hurt they got. Here, let's take a look. The old man is fine. This old man took a little, little bit of damage. Uh, Mari, the old woman is fine. Oh, so actually we didn't do too bad there. I 
think having the slings and the bone uh, spears did help though. So let's get a third uh, skin dryer. Maybe we should just do four. We'll just fill up this back area. So I know we have quite a few sticks. We got eight. So I guess we will use all those up to make these these other two skin dryers. Um, let's go back to our limits here. Let's increase our limit of sticks to maybe 30. So I want to make sure I have a lot of sticks on hand and we'll increase our limit of logs to 20. We can't actually chop down trees yet. Uh, I think once we get to the composite tools, speaking of which, we do have eight knowledge points here, so we could uh, get, let's do, our, let's do our dog domestication. Let's see if we can get a few dogs here. So we'll go dog domestication, then we'll go up to composite tools. I think that will, yeah, required for flint ax, flint pick. Uh, let's do the dogs first. And we should soon start to see some dogs join us. Not sure exactly how long that will take. Taking a look at our storage tent, it is pretty full here. Wouldn't be a bad idea to make another one. So let's make another storage tent. We'll put it on this side. And let's set that priority to high. We have our skin dryers made. Uh, we need four dry skins and five sticks for this. Uh, we have more than enough dry skins. We're also doing okay for huts for the time being. Taking a look inside here, we do have one fruit, a couple berries, we got some dried fish, we got quite a bit of cured meat. So coming up to the end of summer, we're doing pretty good. Uh, we have a lot of meat overall from taking down that woolly rhino. We should be fine for winter. Let's get this thing built quickly here. And one more person joins. Makes things go a little bit faster. And another one. Perfect. So we got two storage tents. That should be enough storage capacity for us for a while. Down at the bottom right, we've got, uh, let's see here, resources will last 1.5 times longer when stored in the warehouse. And these are one prestige point each. So the more structures, I guess, we have overall, uh, the more prestige we'll have. I think they're repairing. Yeah, you see each building also has a condition. So they will automatically repair these huts as needed. This one's getting kind of low. I'll probably repair that one soon. Taking a look at our fishing locations, we're getting a little bit low on fish in these two spots. We don't really want to overfish that. Let's move our work area uh, to over here. We'll start fishing these two areas, which are fresh. We'll let these two replenish a bit. Still no sign of any dogs. I would think one or two would join us soon. Take a look into our primal vision. We've got our stick gatherer out here. Now these purplish highlighted items, these are megaliths. So if we want to uh, make a stone monument, such as a stone hinge, uh, we will need to go around the map, dig these up and transport them back to our village. Let's just take a look and see what's close around here. We got another one. No, that's just a flint deposit. 
Uh, there are a few out here, though. There's one megalith there. Um, looks like there's one over here on this side of the river. One over there. So they're kind of scattered all around. One out here. Actually, there's a few out here. Yeah, oh, quite a few back in here. Since this one's the closest, just to show you. Oh no, actually we can't do that yet with the research megalithism. And if we look in our tech tree, megalithism isn't actually until the Neolithic age, so we have a ways to go. Uh, but you can see there it's required for a menhir, a dolmen, a stone circle, or rolling megalith. A uh, rolling megalith would just be to transport it back to the village. So, we need a couple more uh, knowledge points here. Where are our list? Okay. What are we getting close to? We need to hunt four more ibex uh, to get a knowledge point. We need one more person we'll get three knowledge points. Oh, it says we have two domestic animals. So we must have a couple dogs around here somewhere. Where are they? Oh, look at this person. Worshipping the skull pole. Got another trader in town. Uh, we also have uh, a new human joint settlement. Okay, so we got to our 10, which gave us three more uh, knowledge points, which will allow us to research the next knowledge. Uh, the next tech, I should say. Let's take a look what this trader has to offer. Uh, no techs. Nothing here that I really want or that we really need. They got low commission though, so unfortunately it uh, would have been nice if they did have a tech to sell. Would have been a good price. So we'll skip it on that this time. Uh, let's go into our techs though and we're going to unlock our compass tools. Get rid of those notifications. We'll go over to our crafter. We've got three people crafting right now. So we can now craft flint spear, which is the same amount of uh, hunting and fighting uh, stars as our bone. We have flint axe, which we have not been able to make yet, so let's start crafting those, the flint axe and the flint pick, so we can start mining stone and start chopping down trees. And we'll, we'll make some flint spears. Uh, we'll kind of keep a variety of, of uh, tools there, but look at this. There's, I think, one of our first dogs. An adult female. Pretty cool, eh? So I don't think we can actually control them, but they will. No, we can't select them. Or we can select them, but we can't control them. But they will help defend the village. Uh, if we get attacked, they'll join in the fight and um, kind of protect our humans. So pretty cool. Got the kid down at the hearth. Trying, um, cooking up some meat. I'm not sure how they're just playing there, I suppose. Hmm, let's see. Should we? Maybe we should be making some more tents, too. Uh, we have quite a bit of dry skin right now and sticks, so... Let's add another tent here. Uh, we will put it back here. I don't want to put things too close together uh, or else people it will restrict movement. They need a little bit of space to get in between uh, the huts. There is our other dog, a young female. Another knowledge point from fishing. So once we get two more, we'll be able to I think we'll go for spirituality and we'll be able to uh, make more totems, which will increase the prestige. Uh, where is our one totem here? So, or our prestige, I should say. Uh, or did I say that? <laughs> um, yeah, so that's... That, we got a bird flying by there. 
Before we head off, though, for uh, the end of another episode, we are making some axes, and we actually do have two axes right now. So let's start chopping down some trees. I don't want to chop down any of the fruit trees. So I think... Let's see, which way are we going to expand out? Probably into this area here. So let's... Let's start clearing out these trees here. Uh, we do want to leave some trees too for collecting tannin. Uh, so we can make leather. So I think we'll leave... We'll probably leave this grove of trees here for that. Although this will be a good area to expand out into as well. Maybe, maybe we'll leave these ones for the tannin. Uh, since this is all kind of on the hillside, we can't really build there anyway. And let's go over to our wood chopper. Uh, right here. So someone's going to be coming over to cut this tree. Just want to show you that. Probably after they finish building this new hut. Cool. And let's just take a peek. I don't know, where's our food, our wood chopper? I thought someone would be going out to chop some wood. Are you going? There we go. Okay. New technology, new stuff we can do. That'll do it for this episode, though. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think down below. In the comment section, hit the like button if you enjoyed. And until next time, I'll talk to you all later.